Hi students, today we are going to study a priori algorithm. A priori algorithm, the name itself says that it is based on the previous knowledge of frequent item set. So all association rule mining algorithm has two step process. First one, find all frequent item set. The frequent item set is an item set whose support is greater than or equal to minimum support. So minimum support will be given to you and the frequent item set are the one which satisfy this condition that it should be greater than or equal to the minimum support value. So finding all frequent item set is, is item set exceeds the minimum support. Second point is generate strong association rule from the frequent item set. The strong rules are the one which satisfies minimum support and minimum confidence. So finding frequent item set. So a priori algorithm is based upon a priority property that all non-empty subset of a frequent item set must also be frequent. Okay. There is two steps which is followed in finding the frequent item. First one is join, second one is pruning. Join means generate all possible candidate item set CK of length K using support count. Okay. Next is prune. Remove all the candidates in CK that cannot be frequent. That is that cannot satisfy the minimum support value such candidates are being removed and then return the list of k minus 1 item set now second point involved is to generate strong association rule from the frequent item set next is pseudo code related to a priori algorithm first one uh, first step is ck the candidate item of a size k lk is a frequent item set of size k L1 is a frequent item set. I have we have already discussed what is a frequent item set in the previous video. You can refer the previous video to get the details about the frequent items. Okay. 4k is equal to 1. Lk not is equal to 5. You have to increment the k value and you have to do the following things. That is ck plus 1 uh, is a candidate generated from Lk. For each transaction t in the database do increment the count of all candidate in ck plus 1 and this lk plus 1 will be the candidate in ck plus 1 with minimum support and you have to end it and you have to return back the union of lk is this this is the pseudo code for uh, finding the frequent item in a priori algorithm and with the help of a problem we will check how this is done so let us see how to do this problem a transaction uh, database is given to you and the transaction id and item set are given transaction id with 100 is buying an item 1 3 and 4 transaction id 200 is buying an item 2 3 5 transaction id 300 is buying an item 1 2 3 5 transaction id 400 is buying 2 and 5 transaction id 500 is buying 1 3 and 5 okay now according to our uh, algorithm the first thing we have to find out is a frequent item set the minimum support is equal to 2 uh, the support is equal to 2 and confidence i am giving it as 60% so here the one table you have to draw this table should consist of the item set and the support of particular item so which all items are there 1 2 3 4 5 so item set is 1 2 3 4 5 okay how many times the one is occurring in this database 1 2 3 so support is 3 similarly how many times the 2 is occurring in this database 
वन टू थ्री थ्री टाइम्स इट इज ओकरिंग ओके सिमिलरली थ्री इज ऑकरिंग फोर टाइम्स एंड फोर इज ऑकरिंग वन टाइम एंड फाइव इज ऑकरिंग फोर टाइम्स ओके नाउ फ्रॉम दिस यू हैव टू ड्रॉ अ फ्रीक्वेंट आइटम सेट एंड इट इज रेप्रेजेंटेड बाई एल वन The frequent item set also consists of the item set and the support. In when you are writing into the L one, you have to remove the items in C one that does not have the minimum support. So which one is not having the minimum support? The four is not having the minimum support. So it is eliminated from here. so we write 1 2 3 5 so this is 1 is 3 2 is 3 3 is 4 and 5 is having support 4 okay so this is when the k is equal to 1 that is your first frequent item so we are going for the second frequent items In the second frequent item, you have to take the combination of one, two, three, and five. So, what will be the combination of one, two, three, and five? So, it will be combination of one and two. It will be combination of one and three. It will be again the combination of one and five. Then you can take the combination of two comma three. Combination of two comma five. Next, it is a combination of three comma five. In one comma two, so how many of them are repeated one comma two? Is there here? No. Here? No. Here, one and two is together. So one. Then inside the database is not appearing anywhere together. So it is written as one. And one comma three, one time, two time. Three times. Similarly, one comma five, two times. Two comma three, two times. Two comma five, three times. Three comma five, three times. Okay, this is your C two. From the C two, you have to get L two. And how we are going to write L two? L two consists of the item set that. Has the minimum support here? Only one comma two will be removed. So here, it will be consisting of one three, one five, two three, two five, three five. One three support will be three. One five the support is two. Two three it's two. Two five it's three, three five it's three. Okay. Now from this, you have to go for k is equal to three. So k is equal to three. That is third frequent item. You are going to find it out. The item set. Uh, the item set will be the combination taken from L two. So one, one three, one five together. You can write it as. One three five, so you have one three five. Okay, now you have to take the combination of one three two three. So you can write one two three. So yeah, you can write one two three. Next, ah, uh, you have to check for. One three two five, so one three two five. Four items are coming. It is not included in this. This if the four items are coming, you will not include in that. Okay. Next one one three three five. So you can write one three five, but it is already included. No need of including that. So from that next you will get one two. Five, and you will get two, three, 
फाइव ओके सो फाइनल आइटम सेट विल बी वन थ्री फाइव वन टू थ्री वन टू फाइव टू थ्री फाइव ओके सो वन थ्री फाइव वॉट वॉज द वन थ्री फाइव लेट एस चेक द डाटा बेस सो लेट्स चेक वन थ्री एंड फाइव हाउ मेनी टाइम्स इट इज कमिंग सी वन थ्री फाइव वन थ्री फाइव सो इट इज कमिंग टू टाइम्स सो सपोर्ट विल बी टू ओके नेक्स्ट यू आर गोइंग फॉर वन वन टू थ्री वन टू थ्री हाउ मेनी टाइम्स इट इज गेटिंग रिपीटेड इट इज जस्ट रिपीटिंग जस्ट वन टाइम नेक्स्ट वन टू फाइव हाउ मेनी टाइम्स इट इज गेटिंग रिपीटेड इट इज रिपीटिंग वन टाइम अगेन नेक्स्ट टू थ्री फाइव इट इज रिपीटिंग टू टाइम्स सो दिस इज योर सी थ्री फ्रॉम सी थ्री यू कैन राइट डाउन एल थ्री सो एल थ्री कंसिस्ट ऑफ द आइटम्स विच इज बीन सैटिस्फाइड विच इज सैटिस्फाइंग द मिनिमम सपोर्ट criteria so what is the minimum support value 2 so you can take only 1 3 5 and 2 3 5 so the l3 consist of 1 l3 will have 1 3 5 and 2 3 5 let us check how many times it is being occurring in your database after checking you can see that it is happening two times and 2 3 5 together is happening two times now what will be c4 c4 is combination of this two what will be the combination of this two it will be 1 3 2 5 so 1 3 2 5 is happening just one time in the transaction database so we can write it as 1 okay so is there l4 so what will be the l4 there will be nothing inside this so l4 there will be uh, l4 will be null because it is not satisfying uh, because it's not satisfying the minimum support criteria so we must stop here that is uh, the frequent item set will be 1 3 5 and 2 3 okay now second thing is that generate strong association rule from the frequent item set and how we are going to find it out it is finding out by using a rule that should satisfy the minimum support and minimum confidence now we are going to do that second part here so here the confidence is given as 60% okay now we have to draw another table consisting of association rule the support the confidence this association rule can be made from the non empty subset of 1 3 and 5 so that will be 1 and 3 implies 5 the support of 1 3 5 is 2 no so the top support will be so the support will be 2 for next uh, subset next subset is 1 and 5 implies 3 next 3 and 5 implies 1 then 1 implies 3 and 5 3 implies 1 and 5 5 implies 1 and 3 and support of everything will be 2 itself next we will find the uh, confidence take this part as a and this part as b so confidence formula is s a union b divided by s a which is equal to s 1 and 3 union 5 that is you can find it as in the support of the support of this term is actually 2 next you want to find the support of 1 and 3 the support of 1 and 3 is actually 3 so so that is what it is written here okay so this is how you find out the confidence so similarly you can find the confidence of each and every association rule 
so this is 2 by 2 this is 100 percent this is 2 by 3 so the confidence will be 2 by 3 that is 66 percent 2 by 2 that is 100 percent 2 by 3 66 percent 2 by 3 66 percent 2 by 4 50 percent 2 by 4 50 percent and in this we will consider this which is having more than 60 percent confidence so this will be taken this will be taken this will be taken this will be taken the other two is being removed or pruned from it so next is association uh, for 2 3 and 5 strong association rule for 2 3 and 5 as we have done for the previous one we can do here we will take the uh, we will take the non-empty subset also here. The support is given as 2. The sim, uh, coefficients are given. And uh, we will have the confidence here. And we will select the one which is having minimum confidence. 1 and 3 implies 5. 1 and 5 implies 3. 3 and 5 implies 1. 1 implies 3 and 5. 2 implies 5. 3 and 5 implies 2. 2 and 5 implies 3. 2 implies 3 and 5. So these are the strong association rule of your database. One more point I have to add in this that is the drawback of a priori algorithm. The first drawback is that it requires many scans of the database. So each and every time you are going to find out the support and all that is scanning of the database. So each and every time you are scanning the database. Next the number of candidate item grows quickly and the result in large candidate data set.